It must have been about 10 years ago. We realized we were growing dramatically in terms of headcount and we were getting split across four buildings. We wanted a building where everybody could fit in that building, but also ideally to have as few floors as possible so that actually you had a great opportunity to work as groups and departments on one floor. The ramp very deliberately not only connects people through the building from a physical perspective, but you actually already observe a lot of employees who just stop, they meet, they talk, they catch up. And it's not necessarily planned meetings. That's quite an important piece of this. There's a serendipitous nature to how people meet and to share that kind of information. One of the key parts of the philosophy of Bloomberg that we were asked to embrace with the building was about collaboration and teamwork. And you can see that tracked through in virtually every area of the building, whether it's the convening spaces that allow people to come together informally or formally, whether it's the ramp that allows people to circulate and bump into each other, exchange briefly on their way, whether it's the desk system that brings people together in organic clusters. The whole building is about trying to respect, enhance and improve that sense of collaboration and community that Bloomberg finds so important to their culture. The breathing building works in a very simple way. We introduce openings all around the building, largely in the bronze fins that self-shade the facades. The rear face of them is an opening vent that enables air to pass through, be drawn across the floor plates, and then go up through the void around the central ramp and out through the roof light at the top. The ceiling's made of metallic petals and each one is formed to deliver a bigger surface area, which means instead of chilling the ceiling, we just cool it. So the other facet is the lighting. We decided to use the metal pressing of the ceiling to deliver the light. It's all the folds and curves of the petal that enable the light to be bounced and refracted to give that gentle glow that you can see. And again, just by virtue of its form, it dissipates the sound and, and enables us to improve the acoustic environment right through the building. In order to deliver a stone building of this scale, it was necessary to begin a whole new generation of craftspeople. It was really those skill sets that give the building the defined look that it has. So all of the stonework is in large part hand finished and handcrafted. Very much a part of that notion that the building should be of its place sits behind the selection of materials. The stone comes from a quarry on the Yorkshire Derbyshire border. The ceilings were manufactured in South Glamorgan and the worsted wool that forms the, the upholstered walls was from a reopened mill in Huddersfield. So I think it was very much about supporting and giving back and, and making sure that these industries continue to thrive in Britain. One of the cornerstones of our company is about giving back. It's a critical aspect of our culture and it's in something inherent and advocated to all of our employees. Not only do we have the artwork in the building, which has a design purpose, but also a lot of the spaces, the public realm outside the building, we've given some space back for the public to enjoy, to have respite, to have some calm in the middle of the city. We have the Mithras Museum, which is, again, it's a free place for people to go to have an appreciation of really the history of this site, but the history of London itself. What sets this building apart in London, in many ways, is a little bit like Bloomberg coming of age in the sensitivity and the quality of the materials, the colour palettes and the, how art has been used. And now that we've been in the building a little bit longer and operating in that building, it's still inspiring that the wow is still there. The space is genuinely giving a, a creativeness and an energy to the workplace. The Bloomberg integrated ceiling panel combines acoustics, lighting and chilled water as well. So it's a radiant cooled product 
the petals increase the surface area and that is all within a hundred mil depth. The lighting is also a um, key feature within the panel. That provides a lux level of 300 lux. It gives it superb uniformity because of the spread of the LEDs across the space. And also the acoustics, even with the, the metal petals uh, covering the ceiling, it actually gives a very good acoustic absorption performance as well. So for us working on this project, even though it's five years on, we're just as excited today to go into the project and see it finished as, as the day we started. Um, and it's a, it's, a, it's a real achievement. We're very proud of it and it's been an honour to work on it.